You, okay. you've, you've got the eugenics uh, sterilizing gay kids, right? Mm-mm-mm. Right. But there is use for those gay bodies. There's use for those gay kids. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I wanted to do a little disclaimer before I bring up this next interview. It's a pretty intense interview, but I think it's an extremely important interview. Some of the language is a little bit harsh, and I wanted to just give you a heads up before you start to watch it. It it could make some people very uncomfortable, and I just want to let you know that um, so that you're prepared for this interview. A lot of things that are being said, I think, are important, like I said, but also at the same time could be very um, maybe traumatizing for some people or bring some stuff up for them. So with that, I um, want to bring this next interview up. And again, I hope that you enjoy the interview. I hope you learn something from it. I hope that it um, can be passed along and we can start to get to the bottom of what's happening here. And uh, I really value this next guest a lot. So thanks so much for watching the interviews. Thanks so much for subscribing and being a part of this channel. It means the world to me. So, okay, without any further ado, here we go. Thanks again for watching. Hey everybody, I caught myself another one and this one, and like I always say, it's going to be really good, but you know, I love bringing people on who not necessarily agree with everything I say because I believe that that's missing a lot in this world today and people are too scared to have somebody push against them and I'm not, I want everybody in the world to know that, I'm not. If I disagree or you disagree, the best way for us to have that is to talk about it and I think that's been one of the hugest problems in our world today is that we're not willing to have people sort of push against us and know that they don't hate us they just want to talk about the situation so with that i want to thank everybody for joining us today and also you know liking and subscribing is real oh my gosh i hit eighty thousand. i can't believe it so and it's all because of you out there and really i cannot bring these amazing guests on i can't do what's happening here without all of you really supporting me and i feel it and i see it and i think on some level i see a light (laughs) i see a light at the end of the tunnel which makes me kind of happy so with that, I have this beautiful human that I met on the internet. Like I meet everybody, and <laughs> it sounds so creepy. And that that being said, we we've conversed, we became friends, sort sort of on, on mostly on X, I think it is. And um, mm-hmm. I really like this person. They're very smart. Uh, they're very focused. They have great um, energy, and they have great, very very smart. You're a very smart, intelligent person. So oh, with you. that, no, I, I really do believe that about you, Eve. And so here's Eve. Why don't you introduce yourself, and then we can move Hi. on. Excellent. I'm Eve. I'm on X as uh, TG Logic Fails. Um, I never did get around to using my account for what it was meant for, which was uh, using symbolic logic to poke massive holes in the <laughs> <laughs> logic of the transgender movement. Uh, I, I wanted to like point it out to academia how incredibly flawed uh, their logic was, but instead I've just been uh, going whole hog, you know, head first into the gender critical debate. Yeah, um, totally. uh, yeah. you know, in, instead of aiming at, uh, uh, academia, but, right. uh, that's, hard that's who aim. I am. So, so, well, so and would they even care? <laughs> no, if they wouldn't care. It's a, they're, it's they're, a very pretentious. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They, they will yeah. look at you like you don't know what you're talking about. You know what well, I mean? And because it's like academics. Well, yeah, well, and I mean, I, I, could, I could map out, I could use predicate logic, I could use prepositional logic, I could use all these different schools of logic, and mm-hmm. I could be absolutely right in all my calculations, and they would just say, eh. <laughs> and right. not care. No, I don't. So, oh, yeah. Discount. Us, they're snobs. Always. They're snobs. They're snob. It's a snobby space. It is. It, yeah. Uh, it, tell, tell us a little bit about your background, or, uh, where, where you come from, and and. Oh, uh, I think I'm, in your uh, email you said you felt like you were a GP. Oh no, I'm an AAP. I'm an autoandrophile, yeah. okay. uh, which is the female version of an AGP. Uh, who are these? Uh, these <laughs> trans lesbians. These wonderful, wonderful men telling women to suck their chicks or their bigots those guys a those are agp right oh yeah those are the agps and what's Uh, aap is aap is the female version so they auto okay autogynephilia which is what agp stands for auto means self gyne refers to woman okay and philia refers to a paraphilic disorder 
and we'll we'll circle back to that. Okay. Autoandrophile means self, man, and paraphilic disorder. Uh, right, andro. So, wow, so, I didn't yeah. know that women could actually have yeah. that. And and what it means is I you know fantasize about inhabiting the male body. Okay. Right, okay. being a man. Right. 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 Um, and, uh, okay. And, and everything that goes along with it. Now I don't, I'm, I'm like really low on the rung because I gave up pornography when I was like in my late teens, early twenties. Okay. Okay. Cause I, I walked, I I was really, the first time I watched seriously, Mm -hmm. uh, like with, with a, a boyfriend, like, you know, he wanted to watch the spice it up. I was really turned off. I found it very exploitive. It just wasn't for me. So I just walked away from it all those years ago, you know, 25 okay. years ago, give or take. Sure. Um, and so I haven't really evolved my AAP. Okay. It, it's just been like where it is. Okay. So when I look at these AGPs mm -hmm. that are out here, you know, suck my chick or you're a bigot, like. <laughs> And when I, and when I, when I see how, like how extreme they are, Buck, I'm telling you, understand something. Like I understand how their minds work because my mind works in the same way, but I'm not okay. half as warped. I haven't watched the porn. I haven't taken that journey. Yeah, sure. So when I look at them, I understand how much porn they've had to consume, how much degeneration they've had to go through to get to the point where they want to start taking estrogen, where they want to invert their penises, Buck. Right. I'm telling you, when I say that we cannot build enough asylums, and even if we could, we could not possibly staff them. Wow. Because these people, when we take away trans rights, mm -hmm. they will lose their shit and they need already long term inpatient mental health care. Yeah. Yeah. Already. For sure. Already. Right. And when they lo when they lose their trans rights, when they lose their rights to women's spaces. Yeah. Right. They are going to throw fits. They are going to have serious mental breakdowns. I would okay. genuinely expect shootings. I'm not kidding. I would, because look at how they're already treating women. Look at the levels of misogyny we already have from these men. That's look right. at the level of violence that they already put on these, on women. Mm -hmm. They will absolutely go after women in retaliation. Yeah, they already are. Right? They yeah, already they already are. are. I mean, you can look for, at... for speaking up. Look at what happened in Portland. There you go. First I was going to say that up. women, women speak. Um, what's her name? Speak. Yep. Let women speak. They have been punching women. So I want everybody out there to understand this is a very specific kind of trans woman that we're talking about AGP. And I have, Absolutely. I have seen it. I have seen the violence that comes out. I said, these are not normal, regular trans women that I know that are very peaceful. They just want to be women. They go about their way. They don't cause, these are a different breed. And I always call them cross dress. I felt like they were just cross dressers. No, no. And that's why, that's why I was so worried when you were doing your, your interview with the AGP. Like I was yeah. just like, oh my yeah. God, these are not, yeah. these are not yeah. like cross dressers. These are a completely different breed. Right. It's a whole other ball game. So wow. yeah, it, yeah, no, there, I mean, it, it's 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 going to be such a problem to a point where there's a very good chance our governments are going to and I say our governments I mean mm -hmm. the US the UK Scott there's a very good chance our governments are going to say if we discontinue letting these men use women's spaces mm -hmm. it could end up being enough of a crisis that we would have a lot of people on disability, we would have a lot of people in me needing mental health care, a significant, you know, number, I mean, a, yeah. a lot of these people. Yeah. Um, and we would very potentially have a lot of violence on our hands from these people. Gosh. So they might, they might feel that it is more advantageous to continue to let them use these spaces, Buck. No, we they, can't have that. No, they might, Buck, in a cost-effective move by the government, they may well make that decision. 
I mean, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but I personally am going, no. <laughs> I, I absolutely agree. I don't want those men in, I don't want any men in my spaces anymore. But I, I'm saying if, if I were, if I were a politician, of course, you know, and I was, yeah. I was a, an asshole politician. Let's be honest. Yeah. 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 Uh, sorry. Yeah. sorry. No, it's true. It's true. It's totally you know, true. but yeah. yeah, there's a good chance that they might just say, you know, the cost of social security, the cost of mental health care and mm. the potential cost of violence erupting in the country. Mm. It might be worth it to just say, well, sorry, ladies, deal with it. Like they always do. Like they always do because like we're just yeah. women. Because you're just we're women. Just women. We're that's just why women. I, that's why I'm pissed about the whole thing. As a biological female who pretty much lived half my life in a very female space, and yeah. as a gay woman, also uh, I fought for women's rights, and I'm Absolutely. still a bio. I'm still a biological female, people. Yeah, and I, I feel very attached to that. I do. Yeah. I, I'm and, not and gonna it, just turn I feel my like back. It, yeah. I feel like it should still affect you, even though it does. You know, as a man, it. My, I have a wife. <laughs> I have a, lots of female friends yeah. who are not even in the community. It does affect my life because yeah. it affects them. Yeah. And and that's an actual real thing. It's and also I want to remind people this is not a transphobic conversation. This is called real talk. This yeah, is this real is not, talk. No, I, it's not. No, I understand. I mean, look. look I did not grow up in a house full of hate. I have, yeah. I, I have, I, my parents are an interracial couple. My mom is white. My dad, my dad was black. He's, mm -hmm. he's passed. Oh, uh, I, my, my, oh, thank you. My, my mom will tell you stories about being six months pregnant with my sister at the lesbian bar doing the bump with the drag queens in the seventies. You know, <laughs> oh, I grew, I grew up with my uncle Bobby who, you know, died of AIDS related pneumonia when I was eight. You know, Aunt Viv died when I was 10. She, she was she was a, a trans woman mm. you know it's like I, I grew up yeah with gay community i i came out i think in 93 it's like mm -hmm. it's yeah. not it's not uh, it's at not. all from a place of hate and everybody no. wants to say it's from a place of hate and it's like guys it's not uh, coming from a place of hate. It's coming from a place of realism. I'm I'm looking at the situation. I'm thinking critically. That's right. I'm follow <laughs> I'm following things through to logical That's conclusions. Right. I'm That's trying right. to figure out how do we get the toothpaste back in the tube. Great. Great. You know, and it's you know these are the conclusions I'm coming to when I follow things through. You know. Well, let me just I say think something here. Steps. Please. You know, I have been part of this community, using that yeah. loosely, uh, for 31 years, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, it hasn't been until the last five or so years that this particular type of trans woman yeah. has come and literally overrode the whole space. They're well, the ones who are in charge. They're yeah. the ones who are making the mess out of everything. They're the ones who are demanding. They're but, the ones saying trans women are women. Yeah. But they're the ones that have been financing it this entire time, however. Don't forget that. They're totally the ones agree. that have been financing That's this. Right. This is That's what right. they want. That's right. I, I mean, I know I sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist, but I'm yeah. telling you, I know how they think. Understand that. Let You know what? I, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. We never covered what a paraphilic disorder is. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So I, I sent you the definition. Yeah, that's right. If, if you want to look over that. Um, I know. <laughs> I was just reading it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. If you want to, if you want to read going. over that. Keep oh no. Going. So, so yeah. paraphilic disorders yeah. are sort of the basis of, of all philias, right? And there are, there okay. are plenty of, of disorders that don't end, don't have the suffix philia on them that are also paraphilic disorders. Like exhibitionism uh, is a paraphilic disorder. Voyeurism. Okay is a okay. paraphilic disorder okay so not everything has the ending but okay. you know and and there's something important to note you don't have just one these things tend to occur in clusters and i i like to say i have like maybe two i suppose three if like you gave me like a really big list because there are hundreds of paraphilias wow i didn't yeah pa paraphilias are no joke so I, you know, I, what does that mean, paraphilia? You, Did you give me the definition? Of oh, I sent it to you. I, I wanted, I wanted oh, yeah. you to read it so you, you could. Uh, you, okay. Oh no, read, read it to the audience. Like, 
I'm trying to give, find it. Give it to us, Buck. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Uh, give it to us, Buck. So, let's see. The last one, I think the last email you sent me was all oh, this amazing information about <laughs> the men in prisons and the rate of sexual abuse. To, sex offenders, from, yeah. Sex offenders coming from females and from, it, it, there's just no, no comparison. It's all there's male. There's no comparison. It's, it's all it's male. All, it, it, it's all trans male. It's all trans so, uh, identified men. Male. Wow, and this is insane. Male. I'm going to actually add this to the um, thing so people can see it when I put oh, yeah. it up. Yeah, but I can't find the definition of the... I oh, I'm sorry. Was and of course, my, my phone it doesn't, is on the nightstand. Paraphilic this disorders. last one you sent okay. me was all about the Here we go. sex event. Okay, great. Yeah. Paraphilic disorders are... Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Recurrent, intense, sexually arousing... Right. So these three things, they're recurrent, intense and sexually arousing. OK. OK. Fantasies, urges or behaviors. So there is a scale. OK. Right. You start at fantasies. That's where I'm at. OK. You go to urges and then you okay. move to behaviors. Okay? Uh, OK. Right. So you, so so you progress. Right. Right. That right. are right. Distressing or disabling. Mm. So you know they're wrong. That's right, because they're disabling you, and they, they cause distressing. problems in your life. Yeah, exactly. You understand yeah. that they are wrong. OK, yeah. and and in addition to that and that involve. Are you ready for the list? Yes. Inanimate objects. Children. Oh. Or non-consenting adults. So what? all three, all three things are not consenting. That's Inanimate right. objects, children, right. or non-consenting adults, right? Yeah. So that involve non-consent or suffering or humiliation of the person or a partner. What? So you can have a consenting person or partner, but you want to cause them suffering or humiliation. What the heck? Wow. With, and so in addition to all that, with the potential to cause harm. What? So that is the basis of all paraphilic, paraphilic. disorders. Wow. So the wow. difference between paraphilic disorders is the target of arousal. So okay. all of that it means all of that at a child that is 13 or younger specifically yeah. that what? whole definition aimed at a child 13 or younger that oh. is a pedophilia i want to die <laughs> so wow. necro necrophilia all of that at a dead body that's right zoophilia all of that at an animal and they're pushing this stuff you know that and they're trying and that this is why I was really worried about you doing that interview with that guy, because that guy wants to get all of this considered sexuality. I know I did. The this interview. is not sexual so, orientation. No, I even pushed no. back on on him. Thank said, you. I'm that's so not glad. True. No, I did. I said, that's <laughs> not true. It's a, then he tried to tell me that I'm a AGP and I said, no, I'm not. You but, might I, actually I, I would argue and we'll get into that later. But totally. But that yeah. being said, I'm, I'm not going to let some. AGP yeah. trans yeah, yeah. diagnose me and that yeah. being said wait well, he's a transvestic fetishist anyway that's what, <laughs> he doesn't that's know what, what the I hell keep, he's talking about he's a transvestite and that's what i keep yeah. telling all these people i go these guys these people that are doing this they're fetishizing and that's why it's, that's why you see a difference in what's happening today than you did before because we we made a line between transvestites and cross-dressers and transsexual people we made lines there they didn't all verge on trans yep. but these are the guys who made the trans umbrella they are yeah. they're the ones yep. who created this whole mess absolutely so when we when we look at how this works with um, autogynephilia. Okay. Right. Well, actually, let me let me clarify something too. Okay. Um, with paraphilic disorders, mm -hmm. understand that not every paraphiliac is a sex offender. Okay. But all sex offenders are paraphiliacs. Got it. Understand that all sex offenders have a paraphilia 
including your everyday workaday rapist. It's like no. biastophilia yeah. or something. It it, okay. it but it, it it's like sense. from Greek. It, the word the word it's the word rape in Greek okay. with philia at the end. Okay. So it okay. it does it is an official uh, paraphilic disorder. Okay. So yeah, understand all of these men. Everybody with a paraphilia is a predisposed sex offender. They're wow. Well, yeah, because you have to have a paraphilia to, to be a, a sex, sex offender. offender. But like but I was not saying, all. But you said not not all. all not all sex paraphilia. Of, not not, all, not everybody with a paraphilia is a sex, is a offender, sex offender. But all sex offenders, sex offenders have, have paraphilia. Makes sense. Makes so sense. you are predisposed when wow. you have, and I'm saying this as wow. someone with a paraphilia. Understand that. Sure. This is coming sure. from someone who is openly admitting to you that I have paraphilias. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But so, that's not a bad thing. No, I'm. Here's the deal. That's, that's... I, I'm. I, I can say this stuff out loud because yeah. I'm completely comfortable because I know who I am. I know that I have morals. I have boundaries. I have never, you know, I've never looked at a child or an animal. <laughs> Never thought that's a good idea. <laughs> gross. You know oh my god. I mean? gross. I've never oh, I have never in my life fuck. No. <laughs> it's just like a whole other like, like yeah. I li I literally was so scarred by a man I can't I've never even said this. <laughs> <laughs> I, my the last guy I dated, I was so scarred by the fact that he told me that he wanted to see me get you know by his golden lab that I I've been celibate for the last twelve years. Wow, twelve years. Oh, wow, it traumatized you. Well, not not really, but I'm just done with men because they. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, just, I didn't understand it at the time, but ever since I've been like going through all this stuff, I yeah. I've come to understand like how bad porn has gotten. Because remember, I don't watch. No, I, yeah, I don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, yeah, so I I had no idea how bad it was getting. I just knew every guy I was dating wanted me to do like really freaky stuff that I just wasn't into. Just so you know, that's not uh, that's almost all dudes talk about. Like, hey, babe, can you do it like a porn star? You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Like, there's like this thing that guys think that's how sex is. That's the exactly. one thing I don't and like that's about. The and yeah. that's the thing is like that every is. guy that I would date yeah. was expecting me to be his blow up doll. And I would tell them that's I'm right. not a star. I'm a woman and I don't <laughs> do that. Like there's a lot of stuff I'll do, Buck. I'm I'm not a prude. Understand <laughs> No, I can this. tell that about you. I can tell. You're totally chill. But I, that it's you know, rude to say that to a woman. Anyway, can is. you be more like a porn star? Like, uh, I'm like, what? That is the most unbelievable. But see, I have a love hate with you know that. Yeah, like, I just do. There's there's there's. It's well, different and, than wait, when I did it. It's going, because the internet. It's totally exactly. Well, going up. going back going back to see, I took notes during your live. <laughs> Thank you. Buck did, Buck did a live earlier, Thank and you. Buck was saying about how. Uh, 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 and for me, we we mm -hmm. you were talking about how. Um, uh, you, a bunch of stuff was outlawed, like uh, uh, the old diet pills and, and that right. horrible That's medication right. that w pregnant women were taking. Some that metified, I can't pronounce yeah. that. So, so yeah, that better. stuff in they the They gave 50s. it to women in the 60s and it messed yeah. up all the babies. Yeah, yeah totally. I, I, I knew a woman that had those arms. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I used so to work sad. for an orthotic and prosthetic company. Mm, yeah, and sad. they did her arms. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, but honestly, Porn needs to be outlawed at this point. And I say that I say that only because if it was a pill or a food that was causing men to want mm -hmm. to invert their dicks, mm -hmm. the FDA would have recalled it a long time ago. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know, it's and a hard space to be in because, like I said in my live, you know, I, 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 you have to understand that. Well, I don't know if I did say that in the live. I might have been. I did an interview before talking about it, and and you know, because I was dealing with women who are as well. I talk to a yeah. lot of people who are because I try to find sort of some kind, some semblance of nuance. Yeah. But it's not an easy thing to have because it, I, I agree with you. A lot of bad things are coming out of now because uh, you have to also understand it's the internet has opened it up to, that it's become so easily accessible it wasn't yeah. like that before it was no, not, not accessible. At all. you had to go to a store and buy it or you know I, what i mean and I, part of me Part of me was like, God, could we go back to analog? Could we go back to Meg? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Could we go back totally. to Meg, to Titty Mags? And could totally. we go back to like, you know, VHS? 
<laughs> I, that's where yeah. I come from. I come from VHS. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I remember the good old days when I was a little kid. My dad had three titty, titty mags in his, you know, top Me drawer. Too. <laughs> you know? Me too. Playboy. I grew up with Playboy. Yeah. It wasn't even Playboy. You know, it was like trucker because my dad was a trucker. So it was like yeah. trucker titty mags. You know? Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you but know. it wasn't accessible to the kids unless they knew where no. you hit it or blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you know, people was... need to understand that I come from a, a different space. Today, I don't and we like definitely what's happening. Do. I and, do but not that, but like it. But that's the thing, Buck. And I think that's yeah. the difference in terms of like being an AAP, like I think you are yeah. and like I am okay. versus okay. what we're seeing today. Mm -hmm. Is that you okay. and I came from the analog porn age. That's right. So we have right. very different idea totally. of like masculinity. Like for instance, if if I were to like lose my shit in, in transition, even though I'm mm -hmm. very happily a woman, right. but like let's say let's say I like started watching and like lost my shit and transitioned, mm -hmm. even though I'm not trans. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, it would be like going and getting a tailored suit, Buck. Right. Tell That's me, right. tell me, tell me you haven't done that, Buck. Oh, of course, everything yeah, masculine. Yeah. The guy with Kidding the measuring me? tape. Going to the barber and getting the oh, shave. Shit. Very male, male. Those things Very are. Very male space. I love that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I have, a, I have an attraction to that, yeah. right? To that masculine yeah. space. And I mean, I, mean, I, you know, I, I would sit there and go through the swatch book, like, am I doing tweed? Am I doing <laughs> totally. hound's tooth? Am I doing pinstripe? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so like we, like you and I have very different ideas as to like what a man is. People yeah. today have very different ideas as to what a woman right. is versus what people were thinking, you know, back in our time. That's right. So like they're That's idolizing, right. you know, either the Kardashians and Taylor Swift in pop uh, culture, or so they're idolizing, you know, these. I mean, let's. I, I don't. I don't know. Beat me. Can you beat me? Beep. If you have to beep, <laughs> Can you that beep costs me? extra. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if I'm being honest, they're idolizing dumps and sissy porn. Oh, I mean, totally. I, totally. I mean, let's be realistic. Totally. That's exactly yeah. what they are. They're coming That's right. and sissy porn. That's right. I know mean, sissy is huge now. It never was so big. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. It's, and I've it, I've it never really seen did. it, but like I've I've seen like the stuff that's coming across X. It's oh, so God. disgusting. It, it's it's just so, embarrassing and gross. How do you get and, off to that? Well, obviously ah. people have some kind of internalized thing that. So so here's the deal. It's a very look. I'm all about people, spe adults, we're talking about adults, expressing yeah, yeah. their needs, what they need, uh, but in a personal, private space. I don't want to see you dressed up like a little girl as an yep. old dude who thinks they're a little girl. That, I don't want to see it. And I'm very sexually liberated, as you know, yeah. and I'm very open-minded, but exactly. I don't think it's but fair. We do it in private. That's right. Unless someone's following you and they want to see that shit, I don't want to see you dress up like a little girl sucking a lot. I've always had, you know, I've always had issues with that in the porn space. The one yeah. thing I always hated adult babies. Adult babies were like a huge. I always thought that was so crazy. Oh, wow. And I hate feeling like I'm judging people right now. I feel that. But at the same time, that there's something about that that is not to me. That is something else. A, a fetishizing babies as a baby? What? Like that? No. So this is the kind of stuff I'm pushing against, right? Like yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I don't like it. It's <sighs> it's not adult. It's something else. Uh, it really is. Um, it's, it's. I think, trauma. It is uh, yeah. Yeah. wanting to go, like, relive. Yeah. It's, it's not being able to be in the present. Like, you know, you, right. you, you, you want to go back to being babied, pampered. It's, it's so psychological. Just so you, you like, know, it's been in the porn. Busted. It's been in that space forever, but we didn't have oh, you the think internet. I you you yeah. think I've never watched a German diaper? Come on. That's right. That's Bug. right. Bug, That's you right. didn't. You clear. You clearly didn't know me in college. So, <laughs> right on. I, I, I knew the guy that did light and sounds for the drag queens of the gay nineties in Minneapolis. <laughs> right on. <laughs> you know darn well what they play in between drag queen sets. I sure do. <laughs> yeah. Between German, you know, poop and pee stuff. That's right. Like sweetest, poop and pee. Sweet. Swedish head like headphone porn. I'm not kidding you. Swedish headphone porn. It was the weirdest, most 
No, people get off on thing. all kinds of stuff. They just well, do. no, she just she was do. listening to something in three four time, and he was listening to something in four four time, and the music that was playing on top didn't sync up with either of them, and they what? both had these headphones on, and she was some. It was just weird, oh, fuck. God. And I was and I I was a musician when I was younger, and it just I couldn't watch it because nothing would mm. sync, and it was just it it was too hard on my. <laughs> Like that's oh, they're always what I looking remember. to push. But that's the thing about porn as well. And especially today we have OnlyFans and all that. They're just trying to push the limits. So every you know, almost everything has been done. What's next? So that's why there's all this other new weird stuff coming out. And I want to say this. Furries. Furries came from the porn world. It did not and so now I yeah. see kids calling themselves furries. I'm like do people not know? This is so insane. This is not for kids. This is no. an actual adult space. Yeah. What? Like, oh, that's why I see this transitioning from porn into like kids and now yeah. they're using the language. I'm like, when they say, they started to want to call the our genitals front hole or bonus hole. That comes from porn, by the way. That literally comes oh, from porn. Yeah. And now they're using it as a medical term in the UK somewhere that we're going to call it your bonus hole. I'm like, that's a pornography word. Like, what's happening, people? Yeah, I, I wish a doctor would look at me and talk about my bonus hole. <laughs> I wish a doctor would. Even me, I will not I use would that. Hit a doctor. I would, I would actually so would I. hit a doctor. How quit? I have a you. vagina, you idiot. Thank Call you it a vagina. <laughs> fucking weird. Oh, well, no, because it's making people not want to talk about their own self, which is so, so incredibly dangerous when oh. you start to teach these young kids that they're not, they don't have a vagina. They have a bonus hole. What? Oh. No, you don't. Uh, okay, oh, so now oh, what the hell is that? Sorry, we're okay. We're... <laughs> we can go on and on. I know. It's so gross, terrible. <laughs> um, okay, so where were we on the AGP? We were talking about the paraphilias, and then we were talking about um, um, now we're moving. So you explained paraphilia disorders, and then now I want to go into the a actual AGP, right? Okay. Which is a paraphilia. So yeah, so one thing you should know about paraphilias too. Okay, is okay. that coercion and manipulation are extremely erotic oh wow that's creepy they what? are extremely erotic like talking people into doing things that they're not comfortable doing or that they don't really want to do and it's the thing is too is you you need different skill sets and i think this goes hand in hand with the narcissism that we're seeing sure too. that's right yeah. Um, so I, I feel like that's like compounding it, um, yep. is different people and different demographics require different skill sets. So, you know, that lesbian in college, you're going to coerce differently than you are a child. And even okay. if you're not necessarily into children, you might still try to talk that kid into something just okay. to try and see if you can do it. Isn't that grooming? Yeah. So that's exactly that's basic what that is. Yeah. So can you give me an example of, let's say there's a person who's a paraphiliac and okay. then they have someone that they see, they have their eyes set on, right? And let's say, so how would they interact with that person in the coercion? Like come over here or? No, or, no, um, they, they, they might start like, you, you probably want to, you know, get friendly with them. Okay, right. Get buddy, buddy, right. you right. know, oh, really? I like that too, sort of thing, you know. I see, okay, you, right. You get buddy, yeah. buddy. You know, you, you know yeah. how uh, narcissists kind of like everything you like and That's like right. to do the same things you do. Yep. Um, yeah. And then, like, once you get close to them, you might start saying, "Oh, you know, you know what? That you would look really good in those fishnets. I think you should wear those fishnets." Oh, okay, I get it. You That's... should wear those fishnets. Those would you would look really good in that. They start twisting. Oh, but you know what? You know what? That's that skirt with those fish nuts. Oh my god, that would look so good. And then the next time you go out, oh my god, that 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 halter top with with yeah yeah with that super hot. Oh my god. Wow. And and they just sort of like layer the manipulation, and it's okay. just like you know it might be something small like that, and yeah, they just yeah. sort of build it up over time. Oh, but wow. you know, like with with a kid, it might be like you want to know a secret. I've got a tootsie roll. 
You know what I mean? Like it might be like something yeah. small like that first. Got it. You know, and then they'll build up, you know, build something more and more. It. Just like Jeffrey Marsh. I mean, I was just going to say that. I, you took the words. Right yeah. out of <laughs> I know that, that whole, dude. Like, how is he I not mean, arrested yet? Seriously. Honestly, how, how? Is, the F, is the FBI not investigating that creep? They're investigating him. There's no way that they they're have not. To be. And he's getting worse. Be. Did you notice that? He's getting yes. worse. Yeah. So it's escalating. His his yeah. weirdness is I escalating. I told you, beyond. scale. It's scale. Oh, so it starts here. It starts, it starts at fantasies, uh, urges, behaviors. Right. Remember, fantasies, it's fantasies, yeah. urges, behaviors. Got it. Got and it. and you had like I like I said like when we look at these AGPs that are going so far as to transition, this is behavior, right? But these guys are already in behavior. So how far do they have to go before they are in behavior where they are hurting women, where they are attacking women, where they're because they're already injecting themselves with estrogen, Buck. They're in. Have they always cutting done off that? The testicles. No. Have they haven't always done that. This no, is they might have new, had, right? They yes, they might have had the urge to like to do uh, to 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 dress at home. Like uh, look right. at Bruce Jenner. That's I mean that's right. On, that's AGP all day every day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah. so he just got the guts to do it, right? Because right. he fi- you know he but he used to wear you know his wife's lingerie. No, he did. You know that's right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean you, that that's the normal course for these guys is that they wear their wife's stuff and maybe they do stuff with their wives, but that's usually as far as it goes. And they're mean and horrible to their wives. Seriously, talk to trans widows. Uh, yes. good. Um, yes. they will tell you all about it. They do. They yeah. say exactly what you're saying. Yeah. They, 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 they actually, I, I know someone who tried to stay married, but they couldn't because it just, it, that person, no, they're they, abusive. That, that person went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They're abusive. Yeah. They are absolutely abusive. insufferable. They, there's, there's it because no... they want to be a woman so bad or it's just no, part it's, of the, f- it, it's because it's because they want to be a woman so bad and because they are so deeply jealous. Oh, envy. The jealousy wow. that they have. I mean, Buck, I, I I know I know you don't necessarily see trans women this way, but I gotta tell you. It's okay. Yeah. The whole lot of them mm-hmm. are the most misogynistic pieces of garbage. And I'm I, if mm-hmm. every even Blair. I know that mm-hmm. I I know that's your boy, but that Blair, even Blair, even My Blair's God. got tweets. Even Blair's got no, no, no. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't give Blair that respect. That's okay. You Blair, don't have Blair to. Doesn't, Blair, Blair doesn't friend. give me that respect as a woman. Blair doesn't okay. give me that respect as a woman. Okay. Um, I, I can. Can you give you me tweets. an example? Give me oh, an example why she Blair, hasn't given you respect. Because I do Blair, think she respects women. Blair had Blair put out a tweet in 2017 saying something about turfs are butchy as shit. About how okay t- yeah. about how well, all that's... turfs look like men and they're butchy as shit. <laughs> well, you know, you know what, that Blair? was 2017. You know what? But you know what, Blair? You we don't have to look like porn stars to compensate for having. <laughs> so I, we but can. I'm we pretty butchy sure she changed. Shit. And maybe she has, but you know what? I think so. I don't give a fuck. Okay, <laughs> she's that's still, fair. She's, she's totally still fair. going. She's still going into women's spaces. No, she does. As I so, go in the men's spaces, but you know that that's that that that's okay. You're you 100% belong, welcome. You belong in our spaces, opinion. Buck. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, but that's no. okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> but you know what, Buck? But, we know. are we are infinitely safer with you in our spaces than we are with yeah. Blair in our spaces. Well, you know, I mean, and Blair, look Blair would have. Look at this. You know, but let me tell you, Blair would agree with you. She would. She's not. She has no way, shape, or form a woman hater like a lot of these people are. I, I, I spend a lot of time with Blair. I have to tell you, she does respect you. But again, let's just. I get it. I appreciate your. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not kidding. And even Blair, it would be okay with it because that's where Blair and I sort of intersect with this is mm-hmm. that we're trying to see the bigger picture and we're sure. trying to save people like us who need this situation and who really are transsexual. And so if, the, you know, and I know that you don't believe all of that, but I'm just trying to tell you like that's kind of where we sit yeah. and we're going to get hate. We're going to get all of that. But Blair and I are focused on the kids on a, on a lot of levels. So, yeah. And. So, that that that's more our space, and you're welcome to your opinion about her. She is welcome to her opinion. Yeah, about to, to you. yeah, that's right, absolutely, that's right. 
And it's very Absolutely. adult. I feel I, I don't feel any disrespect. You're you're welcome to your opinion. And that's why I love making my channel, because I don't want to be that guy that doesn't let people have an opinion. I think it's important. Your opinion Absolutely. is valid. It's totally valid with me. And that's how you feel about Blair. Yeah. And, and that's OK. Yeah. And, you know, if, if I've never seen an apology or, you know, what, I've never seen it okay. addressed. Maybe maybe okay. it was addressed at some point. I've never yeah, seen maybe. it addressed. I don't know. OK. OK. Um, but yeah, so but well, they call her a turf now. Her and I are turfs. <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> it's so messy. I'm not even a turf. Then that's the, the whole hilarious thing. thing. Is I'm messy. not messy. I'm I not mean, a feminist. I, I, mean, I, don't even, I don't even know what a feminist is anymore. So I don't even. I'm care. I'm, I'm, I'm like this. I I'm, I'm half black. Okay, and as a black woman, I I'm never going to be a feminist. I didn't get the right to vote. <laughs> I didn't get the right to vote until 1965 I hear because, it, because those hear white it. women took That's a whole right. bunch of free labor from black women and then That's kicked right. us to the curb as soon as they could That's so right. that they could have the right to vote. So uh, feminine, American American feminism is rotten at the roots, and I would I never, it. ever, ever call myself a feminist yeah now that's right. do i hate feminism no i just i won't co-sign it i, I yeah, won't join that you. club that's all good you know you. I'm, i think I'm that says a lot about you. i'm just yeah right on i want that's equal right. rights for everybody you know i just everyone. want everybody you know to to live a good life and have that's right you know? i sit in that space that's yeah. what i'm trying to do yeah. it's like just do your thing just get out of my way you don't want to walk on the same side of the street we're good i'll walk here you walk there we're yeah. good there's enough yeah. room for all of us what there Absolutely. isn't enough room for is what we're talking about it's right now a these which AGPs. is these people doing this weird stuff and pretending they're trans and then like totally derailing the whole space they're derailing everything now everyone hates us because these people are running the yeah. space do you know that they're the ones Absolutely. who are running they're running the whole thing Absolutely. But that was their whole sense. intention. That was their entire happen? intention. How did so, they get the key to the house? Okay. I, don't, I don't understand. Okay, so from what I can tell, um, and I would love it if like a slightly twist female or you know if somebody else out there has got more info, hook me up. But from what okay. I can tell, what happened here was um, uh, the NGOs, right? Like Glad and. Yes. The non-government organizations. Yes. Um, understood that once gays got the right to marry, they were out of a job. That's right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So they needed other causes. Mm -hmm. So they added the T. Mm -hmm. And yeah. transsexual very quickly became transgender. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And they snuck that in. I never knew that transsexual became transgender. That's right. The T yeah. just stayed. Nobody, like literally, nobody told me. I, I nobody never, I you. never knew, a, a, until uh, probably three or four years ago. Okay. Like I literally had no idea that it was transgender instead of transsexual. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So they snuck that in, mm -hmm. and then those couple of rich AGPs. Mm -hmm. Started throwing huge money at the NGOs, and the mm -hmm. NGOs have done their bidding. They have done all their lobbying. They oh have done God. everything those AGPs have wanted. Wow. Just and, wow. Yeah. And so, and yes, we got the right to marry. And so now those NGOs literally do not give up about us. No. Nope. And they, they don't. And they are happy to continue using LGB. That's right. They want to ride our backs, destroy our good name, destroy right. all the goodwill we have built, That's spent right. decades building. They yeah. want to, and, and we fought so hard to keep fetishists out. I know, I was 70s, part of that. I'm 61. 80s, yeah, and yeah. I mean, 90s yeah. here, I mean, I, you know, this is not what we marched for, but this no. is not what we rallied for. This is not what nope. we made signs for. This is not what That's we posted right. flyers for. This is not That's what right. we, this is not what we like, you know, went and like sat in uh, government, you know, buildings for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is mm -hmm. not what all that work was for. That's right. Um, so... You know, but that—that's how they got in mm. to the into that space. Is they went in through the NGOs. Wow. Yeah. 
Makes they got, sense. they got, yeah, they got in through the NGOs. You can watch all the organizations, uh, especially Glad, who I Glad despise. Glad, they'll see that. Despise. Uh, they are completely turned over and became yeah. a trans. They're a trans organization. Yeah. They don't. That's Absolutely. what I keep saying. If you do, you notice this, friend. They never say gay. They say yeah. LGBTQ BT. now. They and never... then they say trans. Every like any gay person is LGBTQ. I but know. Trans it's... people are trans. That's that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Everyone out there, listen to what we're saying, yeah. and you'll pay, you'll see it now. They never yeah. say gay anymore. They only yeah. say LGBT and trans. They say trans. It's, yeah. it's crazy. There go. They're wiping us out. They're wi yeah. they're trying to wipe the gay community out. And I do Absolutely. believe on some level the transing of kids is bizarre, and it is. I do believe Absolutely. it's a whole hundred, a hundred and ten percent. I do. But then, but there's a different side to that book. Okay. There's there's a there's another side to it. You know, you okay. you've, you've got the eugenics uh, sterilizing gay kids, right? Mm -mm -mm. Right. But there is use for those gay bodies. There's use for those gay kids hmm. because they're still alive. They're still bodies. They're still warm, wet holes right. that can be used. Oh God. AGP. I buck. Oh my God. Buck. Okay. This is. This is heavy. It's heavy. It's gross. I can't stand it. I don't. I know. I don't even want to be a part of this community anymore. I, well, you know, I left the trans community. I'm not yeah. part of it. I refuse yeah, to I be part of you. that community. I do feel more closer to the LGB. It's why I do see why it wants to split, and I do yeah. support that. And it's not that I'm bailing on trans. It's that I do not, in any way, shape, or form, connect to any of that stuff. That is not it, part of why I transitioned. And I yeah. do feel more connected to sexuality on some level, and and then my trans transness is just a way for me to live this way yeah. it's all it is it doesn't i'm not yeah. a man i'm not a man yeah I, I, i'm a transsexual who wants to look like a man it's totally yeah. i don't take on that all that bullshit that they're talking about um if you want to do do you want to go there sure okay i mean because i don't know how much time you have <laughs> well, we I have 15 more minutes. We have 15 okay. minutes, but quickly, you go right. Quickly, yeah, quickly. It's all about you and what you think and <laughs> not about me. Yeah. Okay. So you have to look at what kind of a trans woman you're getting when they transition. You're getting okay. three basic types. Okay. You're getting what I call the Barbie. <laughs> you're getting what I call the sissy. And you're getting what I call the oh. he, she. Okay. Right. I know you know the he she. That's old school porn, breasts, yep. full genital full male genitalia, right? Simple as. Yeah. The sissy are, are what we think of as the heterosexual AGPs. Right? Like the nasty, grimy, some of them are bisexual, some of them get their penises inverted, but they're the nasty, grimy type. Um and then you get the Barbies. Okay. The Barbies, I call them the Barbies, not because of how they look, not because they're, they're general, generally the homosexual transsexuals. I call them the Barbies because they often get the penis inversions. Okay. And they often close up. Wow. That's why I call them the Barbies. Oh my God. Cause I, they have no genitals like yeah. nullification. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so sad. I have friends that happened to them. Fetishist. It breaks my heart. Fetishist. It breaks my heart. They yeah. they weren't going in to get that done, and then they're lot. That's why I don't but like that, the genital surgery. But that's the goal, Buck. These are desired outcomes. Understand that these are desired outcomes. You think not the by the patients? I mean, by not the patient? The, no, not, no, not by not the, by the, by the doctor. By the uh, half of these doctors are fetishists, Buck. You know that there are eunuch forums, don't you? The W path. I do. W, I do. You know about that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They're fetishists. They're eunuch fetishists, Buck. Well, this is that a makes sense. Outcome. Because that there's that doctor in Portland who does nullification surgery. I can't believe that's legal. That and is actually legal. And one of the W path legal. guys is here in, in in Minneapolis, and he's a eunuch fetishist. Yeah. What? It, it's. Yeah, he, this is the, the shit that's pastor. pissing me off because they're attaching that to me, I, 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 and and that 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 that's why we're we've, we're done because these yeah. 
people are creating this is this belongs in porn <laughs> stay over there like whatever your weird thing is going on you do it yeah. uh, but you see now it's being attached to the trans community and i'm like the, the, these are trans people no they're yeah. not they're fetishizing and then we have weirdo doctors who are taking on this whole thing and 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 creating nullified humans yeah like what i'm telling you about that barbies God. are a desired outcome Wow. I firmly believe the Barbies are a desired outcome. And sure, if if, wow. if if the surgery works, it works great. But if it doesn't work, even better. And why do you think wow, they're pushing wow. asexualism so hard right now? Yeah. Because totally the Barbies. Because wow. the Barbies. They are pushing it. They're pushing it hardcore. Because they're making a whole bunch of asexuals, Buck. They are. They actually, and then, you know, go back to what I talked about in the live, which is the puberty blockers and how the puberty blockers are destroying children's and, sexual and space. Guess, and, and guess who benefits most from, from young boys taking puberty blockers, Buck? Are we talking about the AGPs? It's talking about Buck. Who, who's going to, who's going to desire somebody with little boy genitals the most? Oh my God! Oh, so they when go, they even when they get old, they're not gonna have. They're gonna look like little boys. Even always when they're older. ask yourself, Buck, who's gonna benefit from this? It's just like God, that's let, a great like, question. Like let's that's let's a... ask ourselves, who's gonna benefit from AGPs being seen as trans women, or who's gonna who's gonna benefit from paraphilias being dubbed sexual orientations? I sexual that's... predators. That's who's oh gonna benefit. God. Who's gonna who's gonna bet? Literally, we're going to we're going to normalize sexual predation doing that. So who's going to benefit from AGPs? That's right. Being fully yeah. accepted as trans women, That's sexual right. predators who oh I mean, you saw God. the you saw the stats, Buck. I, I sent you the stats. Blowing. They're mind blowing. They're mind blowing. They but are massive sort of all, sexual predators, Buck. We sort of all knew this. It's why we were all here in uh, in California, like trying to stop trans women from being entering women's spaces. Mm -hmm. And we all saw that. All of a sudden, yeah. you're trans, dude. Like the dude wasn't trans until yesterday, and now he's yeah. a trans woman. He's being put into the women's prison with women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow, all of yeah. this is making more like, sense to me. Always, whenever you're looking at this stuff, the first thing, your first question, who does it benefit? That's right. That because, is such like, a great question. It, it, it's, it's just like when I sent you uh, that that email, what I was telling you about when I was looking at yeah. the Cal the California uh, yeah. the child law where the, the children can just say, I'm trans and I don't want to live at home anymore. I who know. does that benefit? That's going to benefit trans women who are going oh to God. magically become foster parents i guarantee oh, it bleh. i guarantee it because again buck these para paraphilic disorders do not occur in vacuums they occur in clusters and these like i said i have one or two maybe like i i'm i am an aap and i'm okay. definitely a sexual masochist okay okay and you know which which is awesome because it means and I'm I'm very sadistic in my mm -hmm. sexual fantasies as an okay. AAP, but it okay. means I, I have no desire to do that in my life. So right. it's like never shall I ever be an AAP in real life. So it's right. awesome right. for me. It's all your fantasy. It's strictly fantasy for me, Buck. Yes, it is strictly right. fantasy for me. Which is what porn is supposed to be, by the way. It's supposed to be fantasy, fantasy. But it has come into a space where now it's re It's literally teaching people, like, how to have sex. That's like, sex. It's not... It's not sex ed. It's literally people fantasy people. It's, it's it's literally performative sex. It's not. It's performative sex. That's exactly what it is. One hundred percent. Nothing more. Nothing less. But now it's gotten completely out of control. A hundred ten percent. It's so, so disgusting. It, wow. You know it, but it, these these trans women um, cannot. Of, of course, they they fetishize everything about womanhood. Again, it's more reason for them to hate us. They they can't they they can, can take pills to make themselves lactate, but they don't have the That's right, right. You know. They, That's right. They don't. That's right. They no, you can actually, actually see the hate. I have. Yeah, it, it's palpable. Yeah. It's absolutely palpable. Yes. It totally is. But, it to but you can actually feel it. 
it's palpable with these guys uh you know but the, the, so they fetishize every aspect pregnancy menstruation yep, you know it, yep, it, yep, it's ridiculous yep. um so it's sick it's it's so demented i just, i i don't it is. understand i agree. I, I i mean i I know that like when I'm in my AAP headspace and I'm masturbating, yeah, I imagine having a penis and my that... own orgasm is like reversed. So instead of like my hollow vagina, I'm imagining a solid sure. and the reverse. But I don't Again, like fantasy. I don't, uh, yeah, Again. I don't hate on men for it. Like I, I don't uh, like, I'm so not ridiculous. mad at men. <laughs> Of course not, but that's the problem is this is taking over out of actual fantasy yeah. into sort of reality. And the reality is you're never going to be a woman. So they Ever. get pissed off because we're but, saying, no, you're a trans woman. You're not a woman. You're a trans woman. But, but, but you have to remember, homosexual transsexuals are yeah. just as bad. And I genuinely mm. believe that they are, mm. most of them are AGPs too. I think for some of them, mm. it's kind of like a, a dating or a sex strategy. Like I, I went to high school with a gay boy who had a lot of, he was, he was black and he had a lot of problems with his family because he was gay. Mm. And uh, he, I, I met him later in life and he, you know, was trans and he was mm -hmm. living with his three Pomeranians and his husband mm -hmm. and he was very happy and I thought mm -hmm. that was great but I really think for him now that I've had time to like reflect on it that it was probably okay. more of a way of dealing with being oh. homosexual oh. in the okay. in the African-American community because at that sure. time it's a yeah. it, it, it's a difficult thing it really it is. is the African American community. I know that. It's really That's tough. True. It can be it a is. really ugly That's right. thing. You know. That's I, right. I was really lucky that my black father was Yeah, you're lucky. Totally cool with it. I I was very lucky. Yep. Um yep. but so Oh no, it's very not cool in the black community. It is. It African -American. is African American. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Not. Well yep. black, I That's mean. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you so, know, people, yeah. Hell, oh, never mind. We'll get into that. I know. I know. I know. I do the same thing. It's just like, black, black, and then, but when I, th when I think back in time, I go back to African American because that was the thing back then. It was. I mean, you know, but I always ask people, like, do you prefer oh, black? Or, and they're like, dude, I'm black. Who cares? I'm like, exactly. I don't. It's like, I got no connection to Africa. What do I care about Africa? <laughs> that connection was severed. I'm American. Right on. You are. You're yeah. an American. Yeah, I'm an American. American. My okay. my dad felt the same way. He's like, what the hell do I care about Africa? I'm American. Yeah, I know. I hear you, friend. Yeah. Right. But, um, and by the way, Minnesota, it's already dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I know it's getting that here, too, in L.A. I'll be coming next. I hate it. It makes me sleepy. I feel sleepy the minute it gets dark. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I really think for him it was kind of a dating strategy. Okay. Um, okay. Or like a, a strategy for dating dealing with being a homosexual in, in the mm -hmm. black community um, sure. more than being like an AGP. So mm -hmm. I do think for some homosexual transsexuals, that mm -hmm. is, is very much an option. I okay. think for a lot of women right. that transition, I yeah. think it is probably, I think more so for the girls these days, mm -hmm. I feel like it is a lot of AAP. I think they're watching mm -hmm. a ton of gay porn sure they are and they are idolizing they are. gay like gay sex and gay they relationships are. like they are. ladies you don't have a prostate it's never going to be that for you that's right like it's, just... it's it, you uh... literally it's never going to be that for you but it, you're, you're right they're fantasizing about being these gay men and also the problem that i'm seeing and watching because i'm standing back and listening to these gay trans men they're so insanely homophobic it's crazy they're telling gay men if they don't have sex with them then they're homophobic i go i think it's the other way around buddy literally you can't go after gay men like that and, and you know that's gross. You can't, you know, back in the day, I did experiment that way after I transitioned, whatever reason, I, I just did it. But that being said, I never pushed myself. I was always like, okay, cool. You know, I get it. You yeah. don't want to be with me. I'm a, I'm a woman to you and I get it. And you walk away and you, you respect other people's choices. Yeah. So I don't understand these new gay trans men, like calling gay men homophobic because they won't have sex with them. I'm like, dude, that's not how you're going to get them to have sex with you. By the way, you At better all. just back up. <laughs> just <laughs> Why don't you just start looking for bisexual men? You know, do that's they right. have to be gay? That's right. That's right. Why don't, just look for bisexual men. 
Like God, like God didn't put gay men. Like God did not no. put gay men on the earth for women. They there didn't. Are loads of other men. Why don't you look for another man? Because they need validation yeah. from their own self, right? Like I'm a man. No, you're not. You're not a fucking man. And they You'll know never that you have a fucking vagina, and that's how they and don't. Even, they're not into even, it. <laughs> even if you get a phalioplasty, which doesn't buck, matter. Buck, I'm telling you something. I was I was an agnostic all my adult life and most okay. of my teen years. Okay. I saw my first phalioplasty on X. Yep. I literally saw the absence of God. Wow. It was the, I'm not kidding you. It was the first time I ever saw living <sighs> flesh devoid of the divine. Oh, so sad. Mm -hmm. I've never believed in a single God before. I do now. Wow. Because I, I, I it, it was, wow. it was the first time I had seen living flesh that was devoid of the divine. Like I, I don't, I don't say this to be like mean or cruel or. Oh no, it's I don't think that. But I don't think that. the only way I can describe it, yeah, is a Franken dick, and I, I say that because it looks like something Doctor Frankenstein sewed on his monster because he wanted to watch his monster get down. Uh. Like it's, no, I mean know, like the the stitches marks sad. and like it, that's know. genuinely I've what it looked them. like. That, I've seen them. My friend yeah. ha has them, and and so do other people I know. And you know, it's it it, it within it the trans male. No, in the trans male community, it's something very. There's a lot of divide around it, and as you know, I don't have it, and yeah. I actually really pushed for people not to get it because I do have a good life without it, and yeah. I have a sexual life, and I have everything that I need, and it doesn't make me feel less than anything. And I'll tell you, I'm very happy I didn't do that surgery. Now that being said, I don't want any trans men out there to think that I'm, yeah, um, saying something about if you choose to do that as an adult, it's your choice. Yeah. But we all know it doesn't work. We know it, it doesn't. but they're still doing, they're still doing them. Guys are suffering from these surgeries. Some, you know, Scott Nugent, like he, he's, it has an effect. He's the guy that talks yeah. about it. He was on what's a woman or whatever that yeah. movie was, but you know, there's a lot of stuff they're hiding and not talking yeah. about and thinking and about I gotta, these young people. And I yeah. gotta, you know, any, any, any trans men out there, I gotta tell you as a woman that loves Dick, mm -hmm. I, I hate, I hate the life support systems that they are attached to. But I yeah. love dick. Right. On. Those things are not no. penises. Not. There's nothing dick like about them. No. Don't do that it's to true. yourself. If 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 you are considering <sighs> it, again, I love dick. Like I love 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 dick. Yeah, yeah. I I could, I seriously I could crack I could cry yeah. Strap yeah, just stra strap on. But they're you know? doing this. So, so, so the thing for me is that they're not being honest to these guys, and they're they're saying, "Oh yeah, we can do this," and da da da, da and they can't. It just doesn't work. No. And and there's a lot of things that are missing in the situation that we're not having a really logical, honest conversation about. And people think they have to change their genitals in order to sort of move on. And I I just disagree with no that. And it can at be all. A very, it's a very sad space to try to change everything. Right. I did this very slow and very methodical and here i sit today i look like a dude yeah. people think i'm a dude that's all i cared that about glorious beard i mean i I, lo <laughs> I love a beard and you got beard game I thank you beard game. <laughs> this shit took me forever to grow i don't believe it <laughs> <laughs> it's like a chia pet i was like here it comes <laughs> don't touch my beard <laughs> oh i just want to scratch just get well, underneath there you know, and scratch. <laughs> we hit an hour and I oh, think yeah, we could I'm go too, but, I, but no, 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 don't be sorry. Th that's, I usually just do an hour because, you know, I don't want people to lose their yeah, yeah. Tension span. interest in it, in it. And, and I just want to, I, I think I have to bring you back. I'm not kidding <laughs> because we have to get deeper into this, but I think what I'd like to ask you right now is sure. tell us what you think about I mean, in your honest, real opinion about what's happening and what you think we can do to sort of help this stuff stop your honest opinion it doesn't i'm not gonna call you a transphobe <laughs> just so you know <laughs> or a turf or a bigot or a nazi <laughs> um i think the biggest thing well it's like stop what because there's so much buck i know there's, there's so, so much. much uh if we're talking about the kids the yeah. biggest thing we can do is Get to the parents, because here's the thing, Buck. 
the and I'm I'm not a parent. Let's let's start here. I'm not a parent. Okay. okay. And I'm exceedingly judgmental of parents because mm. I understand what it is to be a good parent. Mm. And I made a choice at the age of 22 to get a tubal ligation because mm. I understand that I don't want to be a parent because I understand what goes into it and I'm not willing to do it. Okay. Right? Great. Good and I you. you know because I, I, you know, I, I admit it. I'm not willing to do it. Great. Right. So I took the Excellent. responsibility upon myself to not have kids. Right. Good for you. Mm -hmm. So I really looked down my nose at parent parenting. Sorry, parents. Okay. I'm a bitch. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's why I like you. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Couldn't care less. <laughs> Right on. So, but um, parents have really stopped raising their kids. They are no longer active participants in raising their children. They need to take computers out of their children's rooms, out of any private spaces, and that's, put them in communal right. areas where there is yeah. no expectation of privacy. They need mm -hmm. to remove all internet capable devices from mm -hmm. their children's possessions mm -hmm. so that they cannot access TikTok and they cannot access Pornhub. That's right. Because those, those are the two things yes. dementing your child's mind. For sure. uh, and they need to not listen to snake oil salesmen who are trying <laughs> to tell, they're trying to tell them that no, your kid just has a sexuality. It's just a sexual orientation because it's Gross. not. Your child not. is corrupting their mind because you're not paying attention to what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. So your child is choosing to click, yes, I'm 18 on Pornhub when they are not 18. That's right. And they are choosing to watch teen. They are choosing to watch. How many, how many teen videos is Pornhub currently being sued for? I don't know. I don't know. A lot. A so. uh, hundred and something, I think. hundred something people are I class action. Have, I thought they locked it down because they were in trouble before for putting up stuff that they should have never put up. But they're doing, they actually have that up there's there. A I think there's a class action lawsuit that a hundred and like 19 people or something are suing. I, oh I think I, I could be wrong, Buck. I, I could be wrong on the number. Okay, don't I'll, quote me. I'm going to look into it. No, I'm going to look um, into it. Yeah. But yeah, so... It's like your kid is lying to access pornography because pornography is easily accessed. That's right. Okay. That's your right. parental bro blocks are not doing their job. Yeah. Your kid is probably using a VPN. Yeah. To circumnavigate. Yeah. And you need to accept the fact that you need to take responsibility and yeah. be the adult adult it is your house you're the one spending the money on these devices mm -hmm. you need to lay down laws you need to tell your kids no mm -hmm. and that's right fuck whatever tantrums they want to throw that's right that's right but people you know nobody wants to be a parent anymore nobody wants to be the bad guy somebody's no, got to be otherwise your parent your child is going to grow up to be a sex offender is that what you want because or, if your or, child is things. an agp yeah if your child mm -hmm. is already an agp as a teenager mm -hmm. and they have this narcissistic entitlement yeah guess what because they're all these high school agps are already attacking girls in locker rooms and bathrooms i saw i saw a video they're already yeah. doing it so unless you want your child to grow up to be a sex offender you need to take the reins yeah. That's the that's wow. the first thing. Parents need to take responsibility for their kids. Well, we, we need to bring back parenting. I think yeah. parents have been totally um, gaslit. And I also think we're giving kids this um, – we're giving those trans kids this this sort of ammunition against their parents. So they're trying to break up families. And they're, that's part of the whole agenda is to break Absolutely. up the family unit, to give the kid a way to say go F yourself to the parents, all of it. So parents are now pushed into a space that if they – don't affirm their child, they can snatch the child away. People, don't you see the whole thing being totally geared towards breaking up families, taking, snatching children so these people can actually get your, I mean, I see the whole thing. You just added another layer for me yeah. to see the AGP thing, to see, that's why they want to hide AGP. 
right? That's why we can't even talk about AGP without being transphobic, as well, AGP doesn't exist. And that's why everybody, you know, uh, tries to say, oh, AGP is not real. That's right. That's you know, right. It is real. They, they love 100%. to say that. And I, 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 I love it. Say, I always say, really? Because I have AAP, the female version. So please tell mm -hmm. me how my paraphilia isn't real. That's right. Please. That's right. No, they don't want to acknowledge it because if they acknowledge it, then you just, here's the problem. Well, but that's, this that's is the a, problem. That's the beautiful thing about that book having been written is that we now have proof from somebody that claims to be one of them. That's right. Who I interviewed. Yeah. So that's we right. got proof. And that's what I said right. about the book. No, the book is great because it gives us, look, they actually exist. They and, claim and, to exist. That. Phil will tell you he's I call him AGP. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he, he acknowledges that he has yeah. AGP, and he's very much about the AGP. Yeah, and it's and and, the, and, the and a is, lot of these guys are saying that they have AGP now. Now a lot of the and now and now they're calling themselves auto heterosexuals, and it's like, yeah, no. Oh God, no, you're not. It's no, not a sexuality. No. It literally does not care it's not about a sexuality, sexuality at all. That like no, I. I that's, like I said, I when I inhabit that space, I'm having sex with women. When they, you yes. know, a lot of these guys, they want to have sex with women too. So yes. it it doesn't. That's right. No, that's it doesn't right. matter. It's not, that's not. It's totally something different, and it, that's why yeah. we need to have these conversations so that the rest of the world can start to get knowledge around what AGP is. Because yeah. if they do, they also get to see the bigger picture. Yeah. Because people are not understanding what's going on right now. It, it, they're, they're just not. And then how does somebody like Buck exist in this space where these people are totally insane? And I'm just trying to say, hey, wait a minute. I just want to live my life. <laughs> I, I really don't care about. I care about kids not getting surgery and hormones yeah. and just letting them be fucking kids. Kids. Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, just leave the kids alone. My God. It's so sick. It I'll never shut up. In the never. schools. And, oh. Never. I won't shut up. Like, I, I just won't do if, it. If you'd have told me at 15 that they were going to be putting this kind, these kind of books in school. That's right. Because of, because of the marching and the signs that I was making and, and the, the sit-ins wow. at the state capitol wow. that I was doing. And I would have never believed you. But if you had shown me proof... I would have just washed my hands and walked away. I, I oh would have never God. done another thing for the community. I know. And I honestly, I know. I'm at I'm at the point where if I lose the right to marry a woman, I'm kind oh, of okay God. with it because I feel like I you know I, I didn't police you. my community enough. I hear you. I hear you. It's not our community. These people came and stole our community. These yeah. people co-opted our community. They're not, that's not our, we need to take it back. That's how I feel about it. I'm locked and loaded <laughs> and ready to take it back. I'm not kidding. Well, they they, they well, took it know, from us. We've started a new thing. We are now cissexuals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a really, cissexual. I, they created all of these words to push us out. That's what they're yeah. doing. They're literally taking all these words and like making us these people and I'm transphobic and you know what I mean? I was like, what? You can't call another trans person. You have internalized transphobia. No, I have internalized um, hate towards idiots who try to mess with kids. So no, leave it's, the kids it's alone. No, it's trans-odium. It's trans-odium. You hate <laughs> trans people for what they're doing. That's okay, what, no, that's there what that you suffix go. means, odium. That's, That's awesome. That I love yeah. that. That's Odium. awesome. Mm -hmm. Trans -odium. Uh, you're awesome. I, I really, I really value my time Thank with you. you, Eve. You're so great. You're very smart. I, I really do care that me and you can create a, a bridge and, you know, whether or not we agree on certain matter, it doesn't matter. We it don't really have doesn't. To. We absolutely we don't, don't have, have to. to. I, I swear to God, me and you can sit at a table together and have an awesome time and like, walk away but, friends. You, you, it's you so real. Coffee. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do it. So, I mean, you know, we have to start to get back to some sense of finding these spaces, even if we disagree. We really yeah. do, because it's the only way it's going to save our community. It really is. By pushing these crazies out of and and getting rid of the, these people who are pretending to be something that they're not. And they're trying to show – they're trying to pretend that they're – just coming in to be women and live their life. No, they're not. No. They're totally destroying everything and doing weird, creepy shit on the side. So – Thanks, Eve, and thanks, everybody, for watching, and leave lots of nice comments for her because she came on and really gave her time and said things that a lot of people won't say, and again, that, those are the people I love because, you know, 
go F yourself. If you can't handle it, shut. There's an off button. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to hear it, don't hear it. Put the off button on. But if you want to hear it, keep coming back to my channel because I have beautiful people like Eve who are willing to talk about this stuff, whether it hurts your feelings or not. Because if we don't, we're going to lose a generation if we haven't already. So um, watch me on next Wednesday on the live and, and it's going to be the end of 2023 soon. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eve. You're so awesome. Thanks for having um, me, Buck.